What's going on guys, Lawson here with Mystery Tackle Box. So, today I have a handful of lures and some different tackle that I'm going to be going through and helping you guys catch more fish. Going to give you some tips and my opinions on how you should be fishing these baits and using this tackle to better catch fish for you. All right, first we're gonna start right here. We have a assorted pack of long shank hooks, and we are gonna rig some live shrimp on these hooks right here. And long shank hooks, I prefer to use them when I'm fishing for fish with narrower mouth. So sheep's head, snapper, those type of fish that have little mouths and they feed on bait fish. Because when you use a bigger circle hook or a bigger J hook, they're gonna have a harder time getting that hook, but with a narrow hook, it slides in much easier in their mouth and you'll get a lot higher hookup ratio. So we're gonna rig a shrimp up real quick. So there's a few ways you can rig a shrimp. You can go through the top of the head, right behind the horn, and I prefer to hook them right behind the tail or right in front of the tail and they're gonna be hooked just like that. Shrimp swim backwards naturally, so that's gonna be the most natural presentation. If you twitch your bait and move it around, that's gonna look the most natural. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fish this around some docks and pilings and see if we can connect with a sheep's head real quick. All right, so we're just slowly cruising along a dock line here. Got our shrimp on a hook and we're gonna be just skipping him underneath docks and letting him sit and being patient. We're gonna sight cast a little bit if we see them, but blind casting never hurts and we're gonna let these get right underneath the docks and wait for that bite and then set the hook and hopefully pull up some fish. There he is. <laughs> Look at that right there. That is what we've been looking for right here. This is a schoolmaster snapper. We're gonna pop that little hook out there. They devoured that shrimp. That is our little snapper right there. Nothing crazy, but you put in your time, you can work docks, and you can catch keeper size snapper, or you can just have a fun time and catch a ton of fish. All right, our next bait right here is a Yozuri Twitch Bait. Now, Twitch Baits are one of my all-time favorite lures to throw. They are an incredible search bait and what I mean by that is when you're fishing an area maybe that's new to you or you're just trying to figure an area out and you want to cover a lot of ground and really look for any type of fish so everything's going to eat this from snooks jack reds trout tarpon any fish in shore is going to eat that little kind of glass minnow bait fish presentation right there and so it's amazing for covering grass flats working pretty fast along docks and it allows you to fish a lot faster than you would with a paddle tail swim bait or something that you're going to be fishing slower so this is fantastic to throw around structure and flats and it's really going to help you locate fish and kind of figure out what they're eating so with the twitch bait one of the main things is really figuring out what speed these fish want it at because it's going to suspend and so it's not going to sink very fast so you have to figure out okay how are they eating it so sometimes it might be twitch twitch and let it pause for a few seconds and depending on the weather typically when it's colder you want to fish a lot slower and you let it pause a lot longer and if you're fishing for specific fish like jack and barracuda they like to eat things a lot faster than snook and redfish do so if you feel like you're catching a ton of jack or you're catching barracuda, something that you don't want, maybe slow down your retrieve and that might make a difference in what fish you are catching. For me, my favorite action I like to use when I'm fishing a twitch bait is kind of a double tap and then a pause for about a second or two. And so it's just twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. And a lot of times you'd be surprised. You're gonna get hit on that pause and you would think that the fish would wanna be chasing it down, but they see it and it stops for a second and they think, all right, there's my chance, there's my ambush point to grab this fish. And so really just play around a lot and you'll kind of find out what best works for you in terms of how you want to retrieve this. Twitch baits are also a very excellent bait in winter and spring time of year when there's a lot of glass minnows around or whenever there's a lot of glass minnows or smaller bait fish around for you. And so I like to fish them where you're seeing the schools of bait fish. So you want to match the hatch if you see little glass minnows being blown up on that's what you should be throwing and so I like to just work them around docks work them around bridge pilings anywhere and just slowly work them and find that bait all right next lure we're going to talk about right here is a four inch catchco herring now a paddle tail swim bait can probably be the most versatile lure you'll have in your entire tackle box so you can work them in a ton of different ways and catch a ton of different type of fish on them so we're gonna go over a few ways to work this bad boy right here all right so what I'm gonna do here we're gonna Dip our bait right up underneath the dock and a lot of times just depending if the fish are eating slow or if you're fishing for snook or redfish that sometimes kind of like to slow things down is you almost 
bounce it up off the bottom, you'll get the tail flipping, and then let it come all the way back down until you'll bounce it up and let that line get tight, and you'll feel it hit the bottom, and then you bounce it up again. And so you're letting that fish swim up and down like that. Now, if the fish are a little more active, you can get a good cast up under there. I like to let it sink for maybe two or three seconds, kind of get in the mid-water column, and it's just a straight retrieve back, and we'll give it a little twitch every once in a while. And just a slight twitch, and it's making that fish just sputter right underneath the water right there. All right, one last little tip of advice I'll give you for when throwing a swim bait right here. When you're fishing structure like a bridge or a dock, you want to work this thing as close to the pilings as possible because snook and game fish, they sit right between the pilings and they get a break from the current pushing and they sit right between them and ambush bait fish getting washed through the pilings. So, we're gonna make our cast up. We're only about a foot off the pilings. We're gonna let that sink all the way down and we're gonna slowly drag it right past the pilings here. And that is typically how you're gonna get most of your eats is right along the piling edges. All right, our final rig right here, this is a speck tail double rig. It's pretty interesting. So basically you have two little bucktail feathers with kind of a little grub-like trailer on the back end of it. We're gonna try throwing around with the doubles for a little bit and if I feel like it's not working too well, we'll cut it down and just use one. It doesn't hurt anything, you get two lures basically. So we're gonna throw this around for a little bit and see if we can maybe hook into another snook. See what happens. Now all we're doing with this little double rig right here is bouncing it up and down off the bottom and it's kind of, the leaders on it are two different lengths. So you have a fish in the back and you have a bait up front. And so it looks like a little school of fish swimming and that's kind of the idea of it. All right, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and learned a little something about how to better fish these baits you might find in your mystery tackle box and how to better catch some saltwater fish. Make sure you check out Mystery Tackle Box and all the great things that they're putting out there. There's a lot of cool guys that work on the team to put videos out so you guys can learn more. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Till next time, see ya.